Hello debutantes. Today we are back in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to work on under the sink vanity, the drawers of the vanity, and possibly the storage thing over the toilet. The thing with this bathroom is, is we are getting ready to gut this bathroom down to its studs and totally redo it. So I haven't been really paying much attention to this bathroom because it's like, I'm just redoing it. I'm sick of looking at it. Um, but I figured it'd be a whole lot easier to clean everything out. It was already organized and, you know, I had gone through everything and trying to move stuff that I'm going to get rid of anyway. So we are going to go ahead and tackle the vanity first and we'll see how far we get. So I'll show you what we're working with in our before. Okay, so this is the vanity in the bathroom. It's actually a really good size. It has lots of storage. Um, it's kind of old looking. It's a you know 1990s golden oak, which we will be painting when we redo this bathroom because we really do like this vanity. We think it has plenty of space. It's just not the most attractive thing to look at. So we'll be tackling drawers. Um, all that's full. That's just toilet paper. That's not all that big of a deal down there. And then in here, this is what is driving me crazy. Um, as you can do, it's probably typical of most people's bathroom vanities underneath. It's just, you know, kind of the catch all for stuff. You don't know where it really goes and, you know, you use a product a few times and you think, well, I'll use it again. And then it sits in the abyss of the vanity and never gets used again. So that's under the sink. And then over here is where I keep like all of my hairbrushes and hair products and um, more hair stuff, makeup stuff. And then down here, I keep my hot rollers and my nail polish things. And um, we've been trying to get rid of these foam rollers, but Maureen used to use these for cheerleading and I just can't seem to let them go. Maybe this garage shall finally let them go. So this is the before of everything and you know the drill. We're gonna take everything out see what we're going to use, clean the cabinets, and then put back the things that we were actually going to use. So now that Sunday football is over, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Here's just a quick look of the storage shelf that I have over the back of the toilet. Um, this is kind of our everyday stuff that my son and I use. That's just decorative. I may or may not change that. And then of course in here we have more products. Um, so maybe I'll have enough room for a lot of this stuff under the sink once I go through it, but I figured I'd show you um, even more of the mess that I'm in. Okay, so I am done. When I started this project, it was light out and now it is dark. So we're back with my high tech light. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the little storage cabinet over the toilet. And remember, we're getting ready to tear this bathroom apart and redo some of this storage. So like, I really don't like having my day to day stuff like right out in the open because this is our guest bathroom but I just got to deal with it. Um, I left the the um, hotel stuff in there and I put some samples in there. I left all of my son's daily use stuff out where he could grab it easily and my deodorant and face wash and my um, moisturizers and whatnot are just out so we can grab them and use them. I did clean out this little cabinet a little bit. Um, got rid of some stuff that I wasn't using. I didn't think I had a whole lot of expired stuff. It was mostly kind of almost empty kind of things. So that is that cabinet. And now I'm gonna move over and show you the vanity, but I have to change the light. Okay, so the vanity is done and I actually scrubbed the outside really well, got into all the grooves and got all the dust and yuck and soap scum and you know all this stuff from daily use because this bathroom does get a lot of use. So I went ahead and took care of that. Then this top drawer right here is my son's things that he uses. I just cleaned the drawer out, went through, got rid of all his empty stuff because he's not the really the best at going through things. He's a saver, not a thrower away. So I just went ahead and did that for him. So that's that drawer. Then this drawer is kind of all your feminine things that you want to keep close to the potty. The potty is right over here. Um, so I cleaned out that drawer, put everything in there and it's nice and neat and organized and I know what I have in there. Then this again, like I said, is just where we store our toilet paper. So let's get into the doors here. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm in love with this, but I think it will definitely work for now. I did purchase two more of the Target drawer units that I purchased for my kitchen. Um, this one doesn't quite fit in straight, 
so I have it at a little bit of an angle and I left the tag on it because I wasn't sure if I loved it and I might take it back so I wanted to be able to do that but the drawer slides freely and everything is in there and I did use some um, matte board just to make it a little bit more sturdy these items are a little heavier and they're more tippy and I did put some in the bottom of that drawer I just have some of my extra stored here, my hairspray, and I did go into the master bathroom that I used to be using before um, I took over my daughter's bedroom and got some of my extra items. So there is more stuff to store than before. And then this side is mostly my son's shampoos, extra deodorants. Um, then we have hand soap, hand lotion, um, and some powders, and then those are his little travel bags back there. But it's nice to have all the dust cleaned out and all the spare stuff cleaned away. Um, so I'm trying, the bathtub is right behind me, so it's a little difficult to give you a better view. So that is what it looks like. Um, all neat and tidy and organized. I think I've used um, the space very well. I was hoping to get some towel storage in there, but that didn't happen. So we'll close those and then we'll move on to the hair drawer. So I cleaned everything out, put my brushes back because this is where I use them every day. And I actually stored my hair ties and my hair clips in um, Land Lakes butter tubs. I actually saved these. They're a little rounded, but they're mostly square, so they're pretty good for storage. And then I have stuff back there that I don't use as frequently. And then this drawer is just extra hair stuff. My flat iron, an extra brush, shower cap. Um, the problem with having these drawers right here is you see they're right next to the door. So if you have the drawer open, you can't get in the door. It's just kind of a hassle, but I didn't design the bathroom. And then the final drawer is just all of my nail care, all of my nail polish organized in these little tubs, and then some extra alcohol and peroxide. But I can keep all of my tools nice and tidy, all of my polishes in here. I did try to color code them, but then they didn't fit because they're not all the same size. So that is the bathroom vanity completed. Okay, debutantes, so that is a, another big project done. Uh, I actually wanted to get this done sooner, but I could not find those um, Target drawer units, and I just thought they would be perfect under the bathroom sink. Of course, they're not perfect, but they are better than what I had, so I am happy, and everything is um scrub down like all the places that you don't normally scrub when you clean the bathroom are nice and clean so tomorrow is actually bathroom cleaning day so I kind of have a jump start on that um, I hope you got some good information I hope you enjoyed this video please thumbs it up if you did and remember if you have not subscribed just click that little button down there and go ahead and subscribe I would love that and again I love to hear love to hear love to read your comments and to connect with you all so I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys.